Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm finally going to be doing a Q&A to answer a few of you guys' questions from my video on why I moved to Arizona. I have gotten so many questions on that video and sometimes it's hard for me to answer every single one of your questions, but do know that all of your questions are greatly appreciated. And I have been getting a lot of questions about cities in Arizona, so I'm going to kind of focus this Q&A about that. Here's my disclaimer though. I have not been to every city in Arizona, so I will mainly answer the questions that I know personally from experience what the city is like. And if I come across some questions where I have a little bit of information via from people I know, I can just tell you what they say about it until I get a chance to experience that. But anyway, let's get into these questions. Okay, so the first question says, this is from Isla Kozlo. Sorry if I'm so terrible with pronouncing names, so please don't get offended if I say your name wrong. But I'll just spell everybody's name here. They ask, well, he asked, can you please talk about rent and the house you're renting or apartment? I'm wondering how much is rent out there? So yes, I can talk about rent. Um, rent here is, it's kind of hard to give you a specific answer because every city you stay in is a different price range. If you stay in Scottsdale, like a more high-end place versus um, a low-end place in Mesa, it'll be a big difference in price. So once again, it's, all, it's always about area <coughs> or location. But from my experience, <clears throat> I've stayed in Tempe um, in the past and my rent was, and I can just tell you from my experience, my rent was, I have roommates. So for the first place I stayed in, we were paying about $450 a person, a room, um, and a like, two-bedroom. And then the second place I stayed in was a three-bedroom condo, and I paid $450. So it just, $450, I'm sorry. So it just really depends if you're staying by yourself. Like if I was to stay in those places by myself, I would be paying a little bit more. So I did do a little research on this question, though, um, for the average price for people to pay in Tempe for a one-bedroom. They say that the average is so the average for staying in tempe for a one bedroom is 941 dollars um if you're close to asu campus so it can range anywhere from like 800 dollars for a one bedroom on up depending on where you stay in tempe um yeah so that's just one specific answer i can give you so the average is anywhere from like $900 um, for a one bedroom. And if you have more bedroom or more roommates, the cost will be split among you. And same way with the housing. If it's just you, you probably spend about $900 a month for just yourself. And if you have more roommates, then you know you can divide that up. So hopefully that answers your question. And that's with any city you stay in out here as well. Um, the prices really varies. I would say the research on what's the average cost of living in that particular area. So let's go on to the next question. Um, the next question is from, let's see who I'm going to answer. Oh, congratulations to all of you guys who said you guys are moving out here. Um, Tall Tuesday Taylor says she's moving out here in May. Congratulations, girl. Um, Deshaun Johnson said he's from Detroit and he's moving out here at the end of 2017. Congratulations. Let's see. Quite a few people, though, um, who say they're moving out here. I'm super, super, super excited for you guys, and I am happy that I can help you guys from my last video. So someone asked, what about living in Tucson? Um, I'm not sure about Tucson because I've never been to Tucson before. Um, I do have a friend who lives out there, and she goes to school at U of A, and she loves it out there from what she told me. She really liked it. It's a really nice area. You know, she stayed on campus, however, so just from her experience from living on campus, she likes it. Um, so that's the only information, I'm sorry, that I can give you about Tucson. So Marlo Crenshaw says, I'm considering moving to Phoenix or Gilbert. I might have a job offer soon. I live in Atlanta now, um, along with my daughter and dog. So he also follow, follows up and asks me about that about Gilbert and Phoenix. So Phoenix is very, very nice. Um, I've been to West Phoenix, or is it North Phoenix? <laughs> Did I mess it up? I've been to um, different parts of Phoenix from like driving through and just like I know people who stay in different areas in Phoenix. And Phoenix is very nice. It's very diverse, however. So you have anywhere from like young people who live there on up to like 
you know, older, older adults. So it just really depends on which area in Phoenix you want to stay in. Um, Phoenix, though, however, I'll tell you some amenities. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> I'll tell you some of the things that the city has to offer. So in Phoenix, um, they say I looked up. It's about an average for a one bedroom apartment, nine hundred to a thousand dollars a month. There's lots of fun things to do in Phoenix. You have the Phoenix Zoo. You have the Botanical Garden. They have a lot, lots and lots of hiking trails, lots of parks. Um, it's perfect for people who have families and you want to live somewhere where it's not too, too expensive. Um, but they have lots of parks and shopping areas. Um, and they have like a lot of fun things to do, such as the zoo and all of, all of those things. Um, if you are a little bit younger or in the age range of wanting to go out and have fun, they do have little clubs and bowling alleys and things like that in downtown Phoenix. So that is really pretty cool about, another pretty cool fact about Phoenix is that they have a lot of things there in general. Like everywhere you go, there's like shopping centers, there's like little malls and little, you know, just little, little shops and stuff like that. It's so cool. Um, I will say though, I have heard that there are certain parts of Phoenix where you do have to be careful. Um, and not for sure where you would have to do your research. So yeah. Oh, and Gilbert, I'm sorry. Gilbert is really nice. A lot of families live in Gilbert. I actually used to nanny in Gilbert and I drove to Gilbert every day. And a lot of families live out there. They have lots of parks there. My boss loved, my old boss who I used to work for, she loved Gilbert. Um, she said it was a perfect place to raise a family. It wasn't too like busy, but it was perfect to where she could go out, take the kids to the park, and there was still a lot of families out there who would you know, interact with them and they were really nice out there. So Gilbert is a pretty good place to also live. So let's get on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is from Twinika Ponder. She says, great advice. I've been thinking about relocating from Denver to Arizona, Scottsdale, Chandler, or Phoenix. I have kids, so I'm trying to research the cities there that have good schools and neighborhoods. I'm glad that things are working out for you and AZ. If you could offer up any information on good, affordable cities there, I would certainly appreciate it. Stay blessed. So to answer your question, Tanika, I hope I said that right. Um, I actually like every city that you named, Scottsdale, Chandler, and Phoenix. All three of those are really good places that you can raise a family. Um, Scottsdale it will be a little bit more pricier than somewhere like Chandler or Phoenix. Phoenix to me is a huge city. It's like one of the one of the top fastest growing cities. So it's a lot to do there. It's a lot of people there. So if you want to live somewhere where it's a little bit more calm and laid back, I feel like Chandler would be your option depending on where you're going to work or you know how close you want to be to your job. Um, Chandler is really nice too. Very nice homes, affordable homes as well as Phoenix. Like I said, Scottsdale is a little bit more upscale. Um, you will pay a little bit more. It is a nice location. It has everything there. Scottsdale is more of like the Beverly Hills of Arizona. It has a lot of um, clubs, nightclubs. So if you want to like, you know, go out at night, they have that little area where you can go and have fun. But they also have little day things where you can go get ice cream and have like little shops. And so that's a very big thing out here in Arizona. They have lots of little shops and malls and areas Every city has like a like a nice size little shopping area or you know food restaurant um, options. So all three that you named are really good. It just depends on how much you want to spend. I would research you know your price budget to see what would fit in that range. So Ron Mitchell also says he's moving to Phoenix in three weeks and he's looking in the Chandler and Gilbert area. How are those areas? He is from Ohio and he's excited about moving here. Um, oh, someone else asked about Gilbert. Someone else asked about Gilbert and someone else asked about Chandler. Whoa, so Chandler and Gilbert, you guys, a lot of people are trying to move out there. Also in Glendale and Scottsdale. These are very common cities as well. So let me just, um, I'm going to put together a quick little video on my opinion and like my experience with these cities. I have not been to every single city in Arizona, but for the ones I have been to, I'll put a video together and I will put that out right after this video and just kind of give you a general vibe of the cities because I have a lot of questions about the cities in Arizona. Um, so, I, But I do want to get to some other people's questions that, that's not specifically about cities. So if you want to know more about the cities, I'll link that video here. I'm going to do one real quick for you guys. Um, just give you the vibe of the city because I do not know specific pricing for every city. So 
check this out here but let's go on to some more questions just so i can recognize you guys because i love every single one of my subscribers and i want to get to some of your questions so let's get to some frequently asked questions okay so one of my frequent frequently asked questions has a lot to do with jobs out here um someone asked about ubers and someone also asked about how is the um market out here for doing hair so Uber, there are lot, there's lots of Ubers out here. I take a Lyft to work all the time and it's always one ready to go. And I speak to my Lyft drivers all the time. And a lot of them have told me that the money in Lyft and Uber is pretty good, pretty decent. Um, you always get clients, especially on the weekend because it is two areas, Tempe and Scottsdale, where super high in demand because of the clubs and the nightlife in those areas. So with the Uber, you definitely can make decent money. Um, and also in the hair industry out here, very good industry to be in out here because there is limited um when it comes to the african-american community there's a limited amount of stylists out here so you know you are able to find a lot of clients if you are in that particular if that's what your um niche is i guess is specializing like african-american hair and if you're more diverse same thing you know they have lots of jobs out here in the hair industry but specifically more so with people who work with ethnic hair um other jobs there are lots of jobs out here like so many people I know moved out here and found a job within the first week of living here. So if that's something you're afraid of, I wouldn't really be so afraid of it. Just depending on like what field you're trying to go into, um, there are lots of jobs out here. So that's not something you should really have a hard time finding. Um, oh, it's sunny. Oh, it's a wrap. All white, everything, huh? Okay, so another question that quite a few of you guys Quite a few of you have asked, what's about transportation out here? Um, transportation, you really do need transportation. You do need a car out here. I will say that it will be easier if you had a car to get around. However, if you don't have a car, like I do not have one, do not fret because they do have, especially in certain cities, they have um, lifts everywhere, Ubers everywhere. They have buses that do take you from place to place. And they also have the transit, which is like a little, you know, above the ground little train. Um, and those can get you to limited places. So, I mean, you do have a train that goes like out to Tempe, all the way out to Phoenix and just things like that. Some cities don't necessarily have, you know, good transportation as well as others. So if you don't have a transportation, you will be fine if you just come here and save up and just like figure out you know how to get around like for me I use Lyft um, and fortunate for me my bosses are awesome so they'll pick me up if I ever need them to and I'm not too far from anywhere I work so thank God so I would suggest living in a city that's close to where you're working or you know wherever you will have to get to point A to point B where most of the things you would be doing will be close to it so if you're working in Tempe I would suggest living in Tempe for working in Chandler maybe living in Chandler if you don't have transportation so that you can get from point A to point B a little bit easier. And just save up until you're able to get a car, but don't let that be a reason to stop you if that's something you really wanna do is move. Um, you can always save up and get a car after and kind of work out your transportation um, method while you're here. So I need, I almost forgot to do my updated video questions because I did do an updated video on Arizona and I got some questions here too. Someone asked how Nikki Spate as how is it getting a job doing social work? I don't know too much about social work out here. However, my cousin just recently moved out here and she does social work type of work and she got a job right away. So for her, it worked out. Um, and I will hope that for you, if you have experience, it should probably be, probably be the same. Let's see. Tatiana Nash asked, Hey boo, I live in Jersey. Says, Hey boo. I live in Jersey. I have never been to the West Coast, but my husband and I are considering moving to, are considering moving to Arizona next year. What part of Phoenix would you suggest to move? Central, North, or East Valley? I would suggest I would say okay, overall I would suggest moving to the East Valley. I love East Valley in general. All the cities that's over here, I love the East Valley. That's what I commented to you too. I said I love East Valley. Question I mean smiley face. Uh let's see. Another question that I had a lot was people just saying that they are still scared 
I love you guys and I'm so happy that you guys are trying to make this big move but I'm going to be honest with you you're going to be scared probably up until you come here even when you get here you're going to be scared so if you really want to make this move just come on over um, and if it's if, even if it's not Arizona wherever you want to move if you feel led in your heart that that's what God's trying to get you to do to move just take the leap of faith and just do it I'm telling you guys that fear will be there but who cares fear come fears go it's about you pushing past that fear and doing it because you might be extremely happy. And as I mentioned in my previous video, if you don't like it, you can always go home. I will hope. So um, that is another thing a lot of people say. I'm so scared. I want to do it. Do it. You can do it. Like it, It's actually a lot easier than you think. It's actually harder to stay where you are for, you know, feeling that. It's harder to stay somewhere and know in your heart like, that's not where you're supposed to be and you're constantly feeling that guilt every day versus just going ahead and doing it and trying it out. And when you go and if, you, if you're happier, you're like, whew, that was a big like lift off my shoulder because I'm actually doing something I feel that I was supposed to do. So that's kind of how I feel now. Like out here, I love it still. Um, I've been advancing and just growing as a person and I'm loving myself even more. I definitely think it was the best move I could have made. Um, and I love, you know, just interacting with you guys. I feel like this video or the particular video about me moving out here has allowed me to kind of connect with you guys in ways that, you know, could be motivational that made me feel good because I feel like, wow, I can actually help someone make a decision that can impact their entire life. And that's actually kind of heavy, but it also makes me feel good to know that I pray for you guys and I pray that all of you guys, you know, make the best decision for you. I do pray for that when I'm reading your comments. So, yeah, um, I hope that this video helped. Um, I got to get to a few of you guys' questions. Um, thanks to everyone who asked questions. I'm sorry if I haven't gotten to your question yet. I am going to try to answer every single question that's on that video. So, just give me a little bit of time, please. I'm sorry if I am late. But I will link the other video to the City Vibes, I guess, or, you know, about cities that I know of um, so far. And I'll link that here. And then the more I get to explore Arizona, I'll do an updated video about the other cities that I get to explore, like Flagstaff, because I didn't mention that in this video because I've never been. But it does get cold out there. The quick little little thing I want to say, it does get cold out there, so in the wintertime, you can go visit there if you like the snow and stuff. But anyway, um, I will see you guys in my next video. If you have not checked out my previous video, please be sure to check it out. I'll link them all here. This video is about how to get out of depression. I think this is a very... Um, sensitive but yet very needed topic to talk about for people who are depressed so if you're depressed please check out that video if you have any like sadness going on you want some motivation check it out check it out I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video